What's up everybody? Today we're going to learn how to change the oil in a Honda 300EX. Um, the tools you're going to need, one, try not to make you dizzy, my GoPro is charging over here but I figured I'd shoot this on my, on my phone. Um, you're going to need a jack, a jack stand, safely lift up the ATV, you're going to need an oil pan, preferably a wheel chock behind it, put it in gear before you jack it up. Um, again, oil pan down there. You're also going to want to get a couple tools, a long funnel. I bought some 10W40 um, GN4 oil off of Amazon, a 300EX Amazon oil filter. There you go. And a 17 millimeter socket with extension and an 8 millimeter socket with extension. Should be able to see those labeled there. All right, let's get started. So I've already loosened up the bottom bolt. Again, sorry if this makes you dizzy. But if you look underneath here, there is an opening right there. Right here. Just get some oil on my head. Where that 17 millimeter is going to go. Just uh, loosen that up. Keep you a rag nearby. I kind of enjoy using my old pair of underwear. See that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So take this bolt out from the 17 millimeter position I just showed you, and uh, let your oil drain. In the meantime, while that's draining, it's a good idea to go ahead and loosen up the dipstick area. This is also where your two quarts of oil are going to go back in. And you're going to take that 8 millimeter socket and loosen this guy up. We're about to take it out right now. I've already got it loosened. There is a spring in here. It is spring loaded, so be careful. So one, put that with your other stuff. Hope I don't drop this. There's two. It's probably a good idea to wear gloves unless you're an idiot like me. Alright, there's that spring I was talking about. And there's that last bolt. All right, so pay careful attention here. So the filter I bought isn't labeled. You'll notice that the part that has the little grommet was on the inside, that little seal, and then this part was on the outside. So I'm just gonna leave that there and go ahead and replace mine and put that back together and I'll see you in just a second for the refill portion. All right, let your stuff drain. I'll meet you back in a sec. All right, I'm back. So keep it in mind that the closed side goes on the outside of this plate. The piece with the little rubber seal goes on the inside. Matter of fact, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more on the inside, get this old oil soaked up as much as I can. There we go, this good old underwear come in handy. This is not the dirtiest they've ever been. Back when I used to wear them. Just kidding. All right, good enough. Put that in there. And then we're just gonna line that back up, keeping that spring in, and I'll be right back. All right, dudes, so at this point, I've replaced the filter. I've tightened these back up. No need to over tighten them, just get them you know, decently hand tight. I have put that 17 millimeter back in that hole down there. You are going to need to use your extension to get it started, so you can't hand start it. Just uh, twist your wrench, you know, by hand at the extension piece softly, and it'll get started. Take your wrench out to make sure it's in, and uh, liking the way that it's kind of seated in there, and tighten it up again, hand tight. Give it a nice little tight turn at the end, but don't over torque it. All right. So next, we are going to. Put one quart of oil in this guy, 
put it in the machine. Based on what I've read from Partzilla, who has awesome videos also, um, you want to put about a quart, quart and a quarter, and then uh, let it run before you put, for a minute to let it cycle through before you put that remaining quart in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Guys, don't attempt to do this one-handed. I just spilled oil all over myself. Look at that golden milk. Hold on one sec. Let's see if I can get you propped up. Hope you can see this. 